What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Kenny. I'm back with another build video. And in today's video, I will be showing you how to make the best slashing build in 2K21. This build can go crazy, y'all. Y'all just don't even know. This build finna go so crazy in 2K21. We are going to be making a two-way finisher, y'all. This build finna be a two-way finisher. And just just wait until you see the stats all right so we're gonna make this a shooting guard pick whatever hand and jersey number that you want and for the pie chart we are going to go with this one right here the red and blue pie chart all right so this build can get hall of fame defense and hall of fame finishing badges okay for the physical profile chart we're going to go with the first one the most speed get a 91 speed off rip for the finishing, we are going to max out pretty much everything except for the standard dunk. We just gonna go. We already got 19 finishing badges, y'all. 19. All right, so we leave the standard dunk right there at 50, and that'll give us 20. We do want to put a little shooting on this build. Want to have some shooting. All right. Leave a free throw right there at 78. That'll give you three shooting badges. For the playmaking, we're just going to upgrade the ball handle and the pass accuracy. That gives us 12 playmaking badges. And for the defense, this is what we're going to do. We're not going to touch the interior defense. This is a shooting guard build. Max out perimeter. Lateral. Max out that steal. Max out your block. Max out your defensive rebound. And then go back up to the offensive and use the rest of the offensive. Alright, so we are looking at 20 finishing, 3 shooting, 12 playmaking, and 20 defensive badges. Okay. Pick whichever body shape that you want. Now, these are all the stats at default height for the shooting guard, which is 6'5". You can go 6'6 six, six for this build, but we're going to go with 6'5". We're going to go with 6'5". I like how those stats look. I like how that looks. This is the default weight, 205. Now, you can do this. You can take your weight all the way down. And you see that gives you a 94 speed. And a 93 acceleration so just think about how fast this build can potentially be with the plus four at 99 with the Gatorade boost I right, come on this build is gonna be extremely fast but if you leave it at default you still gonna get that plus four at 99 and with the Gatorade boost, so you still you, this build is gonna be very fast either way, either way, either or, either or, you guys, either way. All right, so for the wingspan, that's a default. If you take the wingspan down, which I don't recommend doing, I'm just showing you you get some points back towards your shooting, but don't do that. We're not even worried about that. This is not a shooting build. Not worried about that. Max wingspan. That's what we're gonna go with for the sake of this video. That's what we're gonna go. with. Max Wingspan gonna go crazy. This bill is gonna be dunking like crazy. 94 driving dunk. Off rip. You finna catch bodies. Oh my god. We gotta go with that Max Wingspan. You gotta go with that Max Wingspan. If you don't go with Max Wingspan, you are tripping. You're tripping. Okay? So these are the two takeovers we get to choose from. Slash or the lockdown. You cannot go wrong with either or. You can't go wrong with either or. Don't even wreck your brain about which takeover to choose. You're going to be dunking like crazy no matter what. You're going to be dunking like crazy no matter what. Both of these takeovers are good. You can go to slash the takeover. Just, I don't know. I'm not, okay. So, in previous 2 cases you choose slash the takeover, you might unlock those rare contact dunk animations. But you never know. You never know. You get a 94 drive dunk. You're going to be getting all types of contact dunk. 
animation. So it really doesn't even matter. You can go with slash or you can go with lock take. We're just gonna pick one. And there you have it. We have created a two-way finisher, man. Wow. This build. This is gonna be a very fun build, build to play on. This build is gonna oh oh my gosh. It's this build's gonna be fun. It's gonna be very fun to play on. Very fun. Very fun. Alright, 20. Finishing bad. We get Hall of Fame. Finishing, right? Gotta max out contact. Consistent finisher. Need that slithery. Need that fancy. Hold on. Put a little bit on John Slayer. And you can go acrobat. Or you can go live city finisher. Or you can split it and go both. Can't go wrong with that. A little boost here and there. Three shooting badges. What we're gonna go with? We could put them all here to give you that extra boost from when you're shooting um, at the top of the key. If you are gonna go for those shots, you could put it all here. Catch and shoot. Or if you're just gonna stand it, if you know you're gonna be standing in the corner a lot, corner specialist, or split it up, it doesn't matter. You only get three of them. Uh, Playmaking badges, this is what we're gonna go with. With that tight handles, you gotta have quick first step. Handles for days. Unpluckable. 20 defensive badges. Hall of Fame points. Hall of Fame intercept. If you if you know me, you know I love that intercept. I love playing passing lanes. I love playing passing lanes. I make people mad in the passing lanes. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have created a two-way finisher. Y'all seen the badges. Y'all seen the attribute stats. This build is going to go crazy. What you think? Y'all think this build is a W or L for the slasher game, for the slasher community? This build finna going to go crazy. I promise you this build is going to be so fun to play on. I can't wait. I cannot wait to grind this build up and go catch me some bodies i can't wait i cannot wait make sure you leave a like on the video comment down below subscribe to the channel if you are new don't forget to hit that notifications bell and you see all my social medias at the bottom of the screen if you want to stay connected with me make sure you follow me on all my social medias make sure you really follow me on my twitch because i will be live streaming on twitch all 2k21 so, I appreciate everybody for watching the video. I'm out.